Everything seems so large. Toilets are huge, everything's huge. Yellow caps, the steam coming through. Wow, what a long journey in life. I was born in Chengdu, which uh, is the capital of Sichuan province, known for spicy food, panda, bamboos. And then I moved around, because my parents moved around. I'm watching NHL, NFL, NBA. The music, the movies, Sex and the City, Felicity, Friends. It's exciting, that's where I learned my English. I try to like find a way to get to US. Okay, thank you. I was traveling around the world, tasting all the good food, and then I had this like epiphany. Well, that's a story behind it, but basically in summary, I had an epiphany, I want to be a chef. I've lived and traveled and studied in a lot of places in my life. Oh, that's the best. It felt like I'm a foreigner everywhere I go. But the minute I land in New York, I realized every people that walk past by, I haven't seen a similar face, a similar race. It makes sense to me. That's when I instantly felt like I'm a citizen of New York. So I felt like home, instantly. I'm like, I'm gonna create something here. I'm gonna share with the people in New York. Then we saw this mural that says rice above. And I'm like, wow, it's rice above. I'm gonna make rice noodles below. Rice above, rice below. So I'm like, let's take this space. We'll make it work. In this country, I actually learned to be confident that I'm different versus, oh, I need to be the same as, I need to be more conforming. And that's why I'm happy with this country and in this city. It is hard and challenging to survive here. New Yorkers are tough cookies. Not many people enjoy the challenge or the hard work, but I like it. I think the longest distance in the world sometimes is what you envision and what the reality is. And the true beauties when you actually see it. It's different, but it's very beautiful. Um, hi, my name is Simone Tong. I'm the chef and owner of Little Tong Little Shop here in East Village, New York City.